When I'm drawing a dog for CNC plasma coating, I always start with the eyes and then the nose. And I'm just trying to get the basic shape and location. I'm definitely not trying to include pupils and nostrils and small shaded details like that. And normally I would then draw the jaws and the center of the face to get the expression of that dog. But when they have a lot of hair like this, I don't have a set order or technique. It depends on how long and how smooth or curly the hair is. In this case, it has layers of hair and you can't even see the ears and it's all white so I just have to kind of try to get the texture and direction of these sections of hair to get close to the same dog with the same expression without trying to make it anything look exactly like in the photo you definitely can't follow any other lines or the exact detail of the photo you kind of just have to simulate a similar form and usually that will come out close enough I'm just using my instincts to draw along kind of try to get smooth curves without too much detail and at the same time I'm trying to just get some get it to look natural and have some balance between the lines so so there's a balance between the dark and light areas when it's finished and definitely avoiding sharp curve sharp points and tight spaces as much as possible just for sake of cutting it with plasma i'm just drawing in details as simple as possible and not even worried about trying to think about or draw exactly what is in the photo I sort of just try to move my hand in a fast and smooth motion much like a CNC would move as long as I get close to approximately the same it will look good it will look just fine and as long as I don't put too much detail it will cut just fine you have to avoid the temptation to draw every little hair strand because those come out too thin and too hairy for plasma to cut and for metal to hold up when you got little fine points sticking out like hair so the goal is to keep it moving keep it simple and don't get bogged down on the little details because that just takes too long and it won't cut right and it won't look good if you try to cram too much in there too close together it's not about trying to copy the picture it's about drawing what works for plasma that sort of looks like that dog
And it's also about drawing nice and smooth in a way that works with your vector tracing software. And I won't get into that in this video because I do that everything else on a different computer. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.